Well, it's the 75th anniversary of an executive order that targeted Japanese Americans in World War II. And it brings back a piece of the past, along with lessons for the present and the future. Anna Marcos has more from the Japanese American National Museum. It's a day marked forever in the minds of many surviving Japanese Americans. February 19, 1942, the day President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066, which led to the roundup and imprisonment of 120,000 Japanese Americans following the bombing of Pearl Harbor in World War II. This exhibit at the Japanese American National Museum marks the 75th anniversary of the executive order, taking center stage some of the original paperwork on loan from the National Archives. This one is very unique because we have the actual documents that Franklin Delano Roosevelt signed. Um, pages two and three of the executive order are here with his actual signature on it. Images like this of Japanese Americans lined up by guards on Central Avenue or artist drawings of the internment camps jump off the page. Paper columns of Japanese luggage tickets give us a sense of the scope of misplaced and imprisoned citizens. The exhibit is also interactive. It asks viewers what they would do if such an executive order were issued today. It's actually also our Day of Remembrance, and Day of Remembrance is an annual event where we commemorate the, 70, uh, the anniversary of the signing of the executive order. And it's a time to remember and hopefully learn from the hard-won history lessons of social justice. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week. Special performances are also planned, and starting March 21st, the museum will run a public art piece called Moving Day by projecting 80 different exclusion orders on its outside walls from sunset to midnight. For more information, visit JANM.org.